Hi, this is Alex Esposia. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing some items that were so graciously gifted to me from Pretty Little Thing. Yes, I've worked with them before. I really like them. As you all know, we have an ongoing partnership and these are my selections for the month of May. If you're wondering about my hair, no, I am not this like sandy brown hair. This is a wig. I'm just giving my natural hair a break right now. I'm doing this whole like mindful May month where I've been walking, stretching, meditating, trying to lay off like heat on my hair and just all types of different stuff just to kind of give myself a nice spring reset before we go into the nice summer. So with that being said, let's get started. There are some really amazing pieces that I'm excited to show you all. The first piece is this gorgeous one-shouldered black dress. It's got a nice slit in the front. I have this as a selection because I am going to a wedding next month. I would ideally like to wear something with like a pop of color since it's going to be a summer wedding, but if all else fails, you can never go wrong with a black dress. It's one shoulder. I think this would look really gorgeous with some black heels and a nice dingly earring. It's very classy. It's super long on me. I, I don't even know how it would really hit. I think it would look like a gorgeous evening gown on anyone shorter than me, but for me, it looks just like a nice, long, kind of like maxi dress. I'm a fan of a one shoulder. I think it's a fun way to play up a cut of a dress. And as you see, it still accentuates my curves. It's all black. You never can really go wrong with a little black dress. It's just kind of timeless and very classy. And I definitely think if you're looking for something and you want to stick to something super neutral and kind of safe, this would totally be the dress. All right, guys, so this is a two-piece set. This is a really like va va boom for summer. It's this gorgeous beach cover-up. So it's this rippled effect type of skirt that has a lot of fabric that goes like that with like holes in between each of them. So it kind of exposes your legs and whatnot. I'm actually wearing shorts underneath this. So even more would be exposed if I did not have those shorts on. I really love this though. I think this is really sexy and sultry and who loves a good bathing suit cover up, especially for us plus size women. If you're feeling just like a little insecure and you have a beach trip coming up or you want to go to the pool, you can play around with cover ups. Like it's okay. You can still be sexy, but still feel comfortable. Like I understand not everybody's ready to just like bear it all. So this cover up, you should definitely look into it. This top is actually a bathing suit top. I will not be wearing this out and I'll tell you why it's super cute on me, but the girlies just kept popping out. And if I was swimming, God forbid, and I got out of water and I wasn't like in full control of the fabric at any given time, the girls are coming loose and I'm not trying to give everybody a free show this summer. So I think this type of top would be better if you were a little smaller chested and you had a little bit more control. It also started to ride up in the back a little bit, so my back rolls were exposed. Hey, listen, it's 2023, the back rolls ain't going anywhere. Butter them up and appreciate them, that's all I gotta say. However, with this skirt set, I don't know if it's necessarily the most flattering for me, and that's just my preference. If you like to accentuate your rolls, go right ahead. But for me, I would prefer for that this fabric just to be a little bit longer, just to kind of stop right there to you know tuck them in so it was a really cute outfit kind of put together but i definitely won't be able to wear that top out so this is a really sexy summer night club type of dress we've got an amazing keyhole with some of your midsection exposed it's really short and it it's tight it clings onto your body so if you're showing belly you're showing the bum you're showing the girls like everything's exposed in this dress this dress is not for the fan of heart so if you like to accentuate your curves and you want to go out you should definitely get this dress if you are a little reserved and shy and you don't like to show your body off you could still get this top because i like the fit of it but you could pair it with like a skirt or maybe tuck it into like a pair of pants and then it's like becomes a really fun top but for me i will be wearing it out like that Okay guys, so this is the last piece. I'm really sad about this piece. Well, not necessarily, let me, let me reiterate. So this is the last piece and this was like my most excited piece because we've got um, 
it's like a zebra effect with all this fringe and when you shake like that it kind of reminds me of a 1920s flapper dance the way the fringe goes back and forth like it's super fun this is the type of dress you could go out dancing in i could even see this being appropriate to a wedding as well because it's really decorative it's, it's long it has a nice cut in the front so it's not too deeply plunged. It still has that spaghetti strap though so it'll kind of keep you cool during the hot summer months. This is a great dress that you could go out dancing in, a first date type of dress or date night type of dress, but there was only one issue. The material was a little tight so I would suggest to size up with this dress. So I got this dress in a USA size 24 4X and it was too tight in the back. I actually was not able to zip it up all the way. This is the most perfect dress though. I love this dress so much. I'm actually going to be getting it in a bigger size, but because of this type of material, it, it kind of reminds me of like um, a corduroy type of material. Like it's just, it, it has no stretch to it basically. So because there is no stretch, if you have a really accentuated, chest or an accentuated bottom half, I would suggest to size up and then it'll be perfect. All right guys, so those are my summer selections with Pretty Little Thing. I did request to get this bathing suit in and it's like this Bond girl type of like zip up with the sleeves. It's super sexy. Like I envisioned myself on a yacht this summer in this dress, just giving my best like Bond girl moment. And then I took it home and then when I got home, I tried to slip it on. And what did you think happened? Yes, it would not get past up here. Um, my chest is way, 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 way too big for this. And I don't even know if sizing up would help. So I would suggest to get this piece if you do not have big girlies. Because if you do, it's going to be a struggle. And who wants to struggle, right? <laughs> So other than that, I absolutely adore these pieces. I love Pretty Little Thing. I'm super excited to see what my next selections are going to look like. So you all stay tuned and please be sure to follow and subscribe. Also, if you click down below on my website, you'll be able to find all my social media links and accounts. And I highly suggest that you all do that and support me because I am busy making content for you all every single day and I promise you don't want to miss out. So be sure to follow me, subscribe, and check my social media links below. Bye.